Okay, it's Rich back with you for another video. Today I'm here with Brooklyn. Hi. And we have a Cessna 182 that we're going to take up. Brooklyn recently, she's 16, recently decided she wants to uh, think about taking flying lessons. So I'm going to take her out on her first lesson and I'm going to let her do a little bit more than you would normally do on the first lesson, see how she likes it. And we're going to take you along for a ride. How, how are you feeling about this? I'm actually really excited. Um, my dad's a pilot, so I think I just always wanted to fly like him. I don't know. And, and just recently, you looked out the window and said, ah, oh, it'd be cool to do. <laughs> yeah. So cool. So we're going to get to take her on our first flight. I'm looking forward to that. That's a big deal for me. So uh, take you along for the ride and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Good job. Keep one hand on the throttle, a little bit of brake. Good job. Now get lined up with that white stripe. And now start adding some power. Nice and slow, one hand on the yoke too. And remember when I tell you, you're gonna pull back a little bit. All the way to the stop, nice and slow, just like you're doing, good job. A little faster, a little faster. See how the airplane wants to track straight, so you're doing a good job, you're not over controlling. All the way to the stop now. All the way in, push that power all the way up till it stops. All the way up, keep going, keep going, keep going. Good job. Okay, now, just a little bit of power. Back and neutralize. Back and neutralize. Okay, you got it now. So just keep that straight. And if you feel the nose getting too high, just give it a little bit of push down. Nice and easy. Everything's easy on the controls. Beautiful. You're flying. Feet on the rudder pedals, right? Not, not. the river. Thank you. Not that hard. That was really nice. I mean, you did 95% of that yourself. That was so smooth. Green Star, Dick Jet 770, ILS 30. Dick Jet 770, Long Beach Tower, 30, clear to land. If it starts turning right on you, you turn it a little bit left. Can somebody else call that? Exactly. Your, your climb. See how you're climbing? Uh huh. Going away from the tower ground. Very nice. Speed's good. Everything looks good. Now I'm going to show you something. If we push forward, watch. I want you to watch up here. Watch the nose. See it come down? Uh-huh. And then I pull back and the nose comes up. Okay. So you're doing just perfect. This is a good, good climb. Now do you see the river? Yes. So when we get to the river, I want you to turn left. Remember what I said? Turn and push the foot and then neutralize. So go ahead and start turning. Turn. Give it a little foot. Neutralize. See how it's turning? Uh-huh. Keep letting it turn a little bit more. Keep turning. Neutralize. Good. Excellent. There you go. Roll the wings back. Now you see how you're seeing more, so pull a little bit. Just a little. There you go. You brought the nose up. Nice. Very nice. Okay, a little bit more that way. So turn just a little bit to the left. Excellent. You're a natural. Thank you. Not that hard, is it? No. Now bank them back to the right. Nice. Now, do you think the wings are level? Look out there and tell me what you think. I got the open side HR. Okay, so correct it. So bring it down. So we always want the wings level. Good. So you have to take active control. If you think the wing's too high, fix it on your own. Don't don't wait for it to fix itself. Okay. And we're climbing, right? Take off three zero. Very nice. Okay, here comes three thousand. So just nice and easy, push the nose over and try to level off with the wings level. Push that nose over a little bit more. Good job. Good job keeping the wings level. Keep pushing that nose over. Give me a good, pretty good push on it. There you go. So we can, I want you to be able to see over the nose. Now that's pretty much level flight. You can see, see the horizon. And you can see the bank. Now see the nose creeping up on you a little bit. How does it feel? Do you have to pull or push the whole thing? See how it's nice and level? So that's called being trimmed out. And we do that with these things. A wheel? Yeah, trim wheel, but we'll talk more about that later. Okay, we're going to get a little further out here, and then we're going to do a turn 360 degrees all the way around and come back straight. Okay. And are you relaxing your... You don't want to squeeze real hard. Nice, <laughs> nice and relaxed. Okay, while we're heading that direction, we're going to feel gravity, okay? So one G is what we walk around as every day. 
Gravity holds you down. If you weigh 100 pounds, you feel like 100 pounds. So I'm gonna pull the nose up pretty quick and you're gonna feel maybe two Gs. So if you weigh 100 pounds, it's times two, you feel like 200 pounds, okay? Okay. So you ready to feel that? So just feel how you feel. Whoa. Feel how heavy you feel? That's probably two Gs. That's positive. Now we're gonna do negative. Negative is when you kind of float or you feel lighter than you are. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna feel a negative two Gs maybe, okay? So we're gonna climb a little bit, neutralize, and then we push fast, and we get light. Whee! That's negative G. It's like a roller coaster. Whoa. So you don't get to feel that in a car. All right? All right, so now we're gonna make that 360 degree turn. So I want you to turn left, establish a bank, a little bit of rudder, a little more bank, a little bit more. That's rudder, there you go, okay. Now that's pretty good, so just, just keep this, and we're gonna just keep this all the way around. And I want you to try to keep the nose level with the horizon. This is perfect, this is perfect. See how it's staying nice and level? Yeah. Nice, this is, this is a coordinated turn too. The rudder and the ailerons are in coordination. Okay. Wings level. And, and when you roll wings level, you got to push on the push a little bit. There you go. Now you're level. Now I want you to do a turn to the right. Same thing. Establish the bank. A little bit of rudder with your foot. That's enough bank. So neutralize. There you go. And now just watch out there. The nose is falling a little bit. There you go. Bring it up. Good. Now it's maybe coming up too much. So push it down. Very nice. Good. Now this is nice and level. Very nice. Easy. Nice. Okay, now what, what I want you to feel is the how the rudder pedals control the airplane. So I want you to give the right rudder a good push and then the left rudder a good push. Feel that? Give the left one a good that push. One? Now it's going this way. Okay, nice and level. Now watch, I'll do it. I'm gonna, wings level. We're not going to change it with, with ailerons. We're only going to do rudders. So watch. See the nose right? Nose left. Okay. Nose right. That was left. Roll, ailerons, bank, bank, right? And then pitch up, down. Yeah. When you when you bank, you gotta give it a little bit of rudder. And you've been doing a really good job keeping that coordinated, right? It's coming natural to you. Okay, now I got the airplane, you take a break. And I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you, see uh, Catalina out there? Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a turn. And I want you to watch this, this right here is called the, uh, the uh, turn coordinator. And that, remember I told you your turns have to be coordinated? Now watch the ball. The ball should be centered when we're coordinated. If I make a turn with no rudder, look what happens. See that ball getting out of center? Okay. Now watch when I give it a little rudder. Look what happens. See the ball comes in? That's coordinated. So that's a coordinated turn. Okay, so watch, watch, watch again as I make a turn. I'm gonna lead with rudder, establish the bank, right? And neutralize, and now I'm just making a turn and the airplane will stay in that, that attitude. See how the attitude's staying nice and constant? Now I'm gonna show you a stall, okay? Autopilot screwed up our last stall. So I pull the power back and I have to hold altitude. So as, I, as the airplane slows, I have to keep pulling back, right? Otherwise it's gonna, it's gonna dive. See it slowing down? and I'm just slowly pulling back on the yoke. And we're gonna get that warning saying, hey, do something, because the airplane's about ready to stall. See how I'm keeping it nice and coordinated? I'm just slowly pulling back. There's the stall warning. Okay. Slowly pulling back. Feel how the air stops blowing? Because we're not going anywhere. There's the stall, see? See how the airplane's stalling? It's not flying anymore, look, we're descending. But I'm kind of flying it in the stall. But watch what happens. All I have to do is go like this, stall warning goes away, and suddenly we can fly. And I didn't do anything with the power. Huh. It's just from going down, just gravity. So these airplanes don't like to stall, but, but you really have to make them stall. But if you ever hear that stall warning, you'd want to push the nose down, push the power up to get speed, to keep it from stalling. Okay. Okay, so I want you, let me get some altitude here. I want you to try that. What I want you to do is pull the power off, hold the nose up. When you hear the stall warning, push the nose down and add power. Okay? So 
right about here. Let's go wings level. Now you're really gonna have to haul back on the yoke, really hold it back. And I'll help you with the power. Thank Keep the wings level. L little bit of left, left bank, there you go. There's the wings level. Okay, you hear it? Push down, add power. Wings level, good job. Turn it left a little bit. Now pitch back up, climb back up. Good, <laughs> really good. <laughs> Okay, now you're climbing fast, so push over on the nose a little bit. There you go. Now you're back up to your altitude. Excellent. That's a stall recovery. And that's what you have to demonstrate that for the private pilot's license. And you basically just did it. Not that hard. You get a lot of practice as you're training, but you basically just did a stall recovery. Nice. And, and there's no, like, you don't get any anxiety. A lot of people are like, oh, you're stalling. I don't want to do it. Like Bobby. <laughs> Bobby walked in the other day, and he's like, one thing is no stalls. We're not doing any stalls, right? And I was like, no, we're going to do some stalls. He's like, no, I don't want to do stalls. So some people get anxiety about it. Clearly you don't. That's good. So what do you think so far? This is really good. What's your biggest question? Is there something that's just like not making any sense to you? Um, it keeps like going that way. Yeah. Do you think it's because there's more weight on that side? Could be. And a lot of times, let me just see. Let's just see. Let's just let go here. So you're right. It's, so the airplane could be need a little bit of trim work done on the ground to make sure it goes, make sure it goes straight. Okay. But it, you're right. It does want to turn to the right. That's a good observation. See, I'm letting go and it turns to the right, where it should fly straight. And what we could do is take it to the shop and they can make some adjustments so it flies straight. But that's a good, good observation. Your dad would probably shoot me if I don't get a picture. My my. Uh, technique for taking pictures is just take tons of them and one of them will be good. <laughs> I flew with a really famous aviation photographer one time, really? back before digital, uh, it was film, and I asked him, like, what's 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 your secret? Like, I'm never going to be a photographer, tell me what your secret is, and he goes, I just take a ton of photos. <laughs> is that Palos Verdes? Yep. Okay. That's uh, LA port, and uh, see the breakwater? So we use a lot of this stuff to be able to tell the controllers where we're at. Okay. And that opening in the breakwater, you see it up there? Where the boats can go through? Yeah. That's Angel's Gate. And there's another one way down there called Queen's Gate. So if I told the tower right now we're at Angel's Gate, they'd know exactly where we're at. Now when you, when we land, things start happening fast and you get low and you get the reference of the ground. So. Up here, you don't have the reference of the ground, so things are a little smoother. And when you start getting lower, things seem to start happening faster, and you get a little more anxious. I'm just telling you that so you're you're, you're prepared for it. Okay. Okay. Do you see the if, like? If you looked across the horizon, you see the little hill. Oh, yeah. Is that Signal Hill? That's Signal Hill. We're gonna go head for Signal Hill now. What's the best way to turn? The rudders or both? A little bit of rudder. And there you go. Okay. And now you're headed right to it, so wings level. And you're right about a thousand feet, which is perfect. Caution, obstacle ahead. That's just the avionics telling us that we got some buildings ahead. Don't go any lower. Got it. Okay. But we're at the we're at the altitude we want to be. See how it's disappearing? So you're climbing. So push the nose over just a little bit. Good. Excellent. And this is going to be like the most challenging part because it's like you're trying to put the airplane on a certain spot okay. and that, that gets to be a little bit challenging your first time. So it'll feel awkward but and we're going to use flaps to help us slow down. Okay, you're right at, pretty much right at a thousand so that's where we want to stay. That's called traffic pattern altitude, we're a thousand feet above the ground. Okay. Okay, now that's good, so wings level. And now we're going to make a right turn. So turn right, and we're going to head out that way. Okay. Now you see, see the jet taking off. Uh, oh yeah. Southwest. We're going to. We're not landing on that runway. We're landing. We're going to be landing going that way. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to put a notch of flaps in. Go ahead. You do it. Push it till it gets to one. And what that's going to do is make you want to climb, so I'm going to give you some trim down because we get more lift. Okay, one hand on the power and reduce a little power. And traffic guys going to say, there's no factor. Good, now just go straight out here and hold the nose up a little bit. Right about there. November 7, Mike Romeo, runway 26 left, quit land. Quit land, 26 left, sub Mike Romeo. Okay, now we're going to turn left and reduce a little bit of power. 
Keep turning. Final looks clear. That's good. I'm going to give you another notch of flaps to help us slow down. Okay, good. So just try to line the airplane up with that runway. That one? No, right, right out there. I'll help you get lined up and then you see it and then you're going to see it out there now. Straight ahead. Oh, yeah. There's four white lights next to it. Okay, this is perfect. Now I want you just to fly the airplane to the runway. Okay? And keep it in sight just like that. Just how it's in sight right now. See, this would be not good. Yeah. This would be not good. This would be perfect. So just one hand, try to do one hand on the throttle too. Now the nose looks a little high, so get the nose down a little bit. Good. Add just a little bit of power. Add just a touch, not much. Good. Good. Fly it all the way up there. Okay, now you just steer it and I'll work with, I'll use the power. Okay. You just put both hands on the yoke. Keep that nose down and just try to fly it right over the runway. Keep it coming down. There you go. Coming down. Now the wind's blowing us off this way. I'm going to help you a little bit. That's why. It's... There you go. Now you keep flying. Don't don't rely on me. You fly. Remember one three. Keep it right on the runway. Keep flying it right on the runway. You fly it now. You're flying it. Good job. Okay. Now we're just going to let it settle on the runway. Good. Now you steer. Steer. Approved. Runway two six left. Okay. Now I want you to add brakes. Nice and easy. Both brakes. You do it. Good, perfect. Keep doing it. See that sign? I want you to stop and turn it there. But don't turn until you get nice and slow. You're doing it. Keep keep slowing down. Keep slowing down. November two, my keep slowing down. You can cancel the altitude restriction. Good. Now start your left turn. Uh, can I get a what is this? A shoreline? A little bit of left brake. Just a touch. Perfect. All right. Now back. Now straight. Good. Now come to a stop. To my kilo right Beautiful. Here. Okay, back on the ground with uh, Brooklyn here after a, a lesson that normally we wouldn't, it's not a conventional first flight. Uh, we let her fly the airplane in the traffic pattern and fly down the final and get into the landing. And really, I'm not just saying it, did a great job. I mean, she has the hand-eye coordination, picked up on it quickly, taxiing, I mean, pretty much every aspect of it was was very accelerated for somebody that's never flown an airplane before. So she's got uh, got a lot of talent to be a pilot. And you see it, you know, you see some people have a propensity to uh, adapt quickly, other people it takes longer, it's like anything else. So what'd you think? That was probably the coolest thing I've ever done. Um, I don't know, it was really cool. Just came natural, I think. Uh-huh. Felt, felt good, you yeah. didn't seem anxious or stressed. No, I wasn't or... scared, I thought I'd be scared in the air, but I guess not. No, it, w it went really well, so what do you think, you gonna keep after yeah. it? Only question is, we can I do it again? Yeah, right, that's good, that's what I wanna hear. So anyway, I hope you got some out of the video, and uh, thanks for watching.